This is the procedure for using a crosscut saw. Measure and mark the length of the board to be cut. Assume you're making a 90 degree cut. Mark a square line across the board using a square or some saws have a built-in square into the handle. So, how to hold the saw? Just grip the handle so that your forefinger extends along the side of the handle. This helps you point the saw along the line and ensures more accurate cuts. Hold on to the handle firmly, but not too tight. Place the saw along the line and about 45 degrees to the floor. Locate the saw, as you can see, on the waist, waist side of the line. Half the line should be left. If you cut on the wrong side of the line, your piece would be too short. Hold the knuckle of your thumb against the side of the blade. This help you, helps you guide the first few strokes. So, the stroke. After you've started the groove, a few short forward strokes will deepen the cut so you can move your left hand away from the blade. Push the saw with easy, free-running, long strokes so that each tooth does a fair share of the work. Short strokes would dull, dull the saw faster because only a few of the teeth would be doing the work. As you cut, you can see, keep your shoulder, elbow, and wrist in line with the back of the blade. Think, think about keeping your elbow in tight. It will help you stay in alignment. Resist the temptation to bear down on the saw. It won't do anything except tire you out. Too much pressure is used, it may cause the saw to buckle or jump. Possibly even cut your hand. If you feel like the saw isn't cutting properly, something might be wrong. As you get to the end, support the waist and shorten your strokes. Otherwise, you could split the wood. The technique for rip, ripping wood is similar to using the crosscut saw, although as you cut along the grain, the wood may tend to bind the saw, even if the saw has a good set to its teeth. If the wood binds on the saw, place a wedge in behind the saw and move it along as necessary. 